Hello everyone, welcome to the Aggregated News Channel, in this newsletter, we would like to send you the general information on the following items. Euro 2020, Croatia 3-5 Spain, Luis Enrique's men reach the quarter-finals or 8-goal thriller. Spain finally overcome Croatia in the game of Euro 2020 so far as 8 goals are scored in Copenhagen, with Luis Enrique's side throwing away 3-1 lead before netting twice in extra time to win it. Heroes and villains are made on such a stage. But rarely do you have two players from the same team journey from Sinner to Saint in the course of one match, then again, this was no ordinary match. Spain goalkeeper Rooney Simon and striker Alvaro Morathis won this crazy contest in their favor, and boy does the pendulum deserve a rest after this. But their story is one of redemption. Had Spain lost, that pair would still have taken the headlines, albeit for very different reasons. Simon was guilty of gifting Croatia first half lead when allowing Pedri's long range back pass to bounce through his attempted control and into the net. On reflection, it set the tone for a Natalie Bonkers game of football. Morata, meanwhile, came into this tie with his manager, Luis Enrique, demanding police take action over online abuse directed at his misfiring frontman and his family. That vitriol intensified when Morata missed an open goal just seconds before Croatia's bizarre opener. So we had our villains. Come the end of this most absorbing 120 minutes of knockout football, we had our heroes, Simon and Morata. Simon for a series of stupendous saves, Morata for the equally stupendous goal that gave Spain an extra time lead that they would not relinquish. But credit, too, to Croatia, who trailed 3-1 approaching the final 5 minutes of normal time, only to draw level and force the additional period, in which Spain eventually ran out 5-3 winners. So where to start? Simon's indiscretion is as good, or bad, a place as any. The prize for own goal of the tournament will perhaps be more competitive than its more functional counterpart, although the lunacy of this belter will take some beating. Czech Republic's Patrick Schick would have assumed his 50-yard strike against Scotland would be the only one from such range at this tournament. Well, he has company. Not that Spain midfielder Pedri will relish membership of that exclusive club. The teenager had not long split Croatia's defence with the pass at wonderful subtly to free teammate Koch, who poked hopelessly straight at goalkeeper Dominic Lvokovic. A few minutes later and Pedri's pass back to his own keeper was more shuttle than subtle, a rocket from near halfway that asked a few questions of Simon. Not that you expected one of them to be, can you stop this going in the net? That should have been a given. Instead, Simon opened his body as if readying himself to take a touch and launch swiftly downfield. He did eventually come good on that plan, but only when he booted the ball back towards halfway for the restart. By then, he had conceded one of the most comical lone goals in the history of the European Championship. Spain had seen an entirely predictable 80% of the ball to the point of their concession in the 20th minute. But possession had equated to 9 tenths of the bore. Falling behind at least saw some urgency applied to their intricacy. And they were deservedly level when forward Pablo Sarabia lashed home on 38 minutes after a game of pinball inside the penalty area. Thank you for watching our videos. Subscribe to our channel to get notifications when we post newest videos. Thank you and goodbye.